Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe. Hi, I'm Rena. And this is... Canvas. Canvas. This is Canvas. This is going to be Canvas. The name is not on the box. Uh, people have said that before. I won't harp on it, but it's... it's I won't so harp on it. It's pretty. It's pretty. It is pretty. One of the nice things about this, and they have this little little divot. Did you see this divot? No. Do you know why that divots there? So you can hang it up on so the wall. So you can hang it on the wall. They sacrificed marketing, good marketing tactics of getting their game out there so that we could have an extra little canvas print hanging on our wall like so. Yeah, ding, yeah, ding, yeah. ding. What are you doing now? I'm just filling the box. You're debating whether you want to hang on the wall? Yes. You're debating whether you hang on? <laughs> you see, it worked. It worked. I know. In any case, that is going, this is going to be Canvas. And Canvas is currently on Kickstarter. Well, currently is a relative term because of the nature of YouTube and the fact that you could be watching this video two and a half years from now, in which case, it's not currently on Kickstarter. You missed <laughs> out. You could look for it at retail. Maybe, maybe not. There's probably new games out. You can check those out too. But in the meantime, if you are here in the present, in this date of 2021, where COVID still has, COVID's gone. Has COVID, is COVID gone? I don't know what's going on. Either way, any case. So, that went dark quickly. <laughs> Canvas. This is going to be Canvas. Canvas is a lightweight game. It is a lightweight game, to be it sure. Is. We're going to do a playthrough and review, and timestamps down below in case you want to skip specifically to any one particular section. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into it. Quick rules overview. It's very, well, very simple compared to what your experience with games is. But if you've played any traditional games, the basic, well, modern game design, I'm all over the place here. It's okay. If you've... It's, oh, thank you, sweetie. Okay. So, in Canvas, what you're ultimately trying to do is you're trying to build three canvases, three portraits. And you're going to do that by collecting three of these cards. And then once you have three of those cards, you're going to be slotting them into your canvas in order to build out a specific, well, canvas that fulfills certain cr scoring criteria. Those scoring criteria are going to change game to game. In this case, we have these four. I'll explain them shortly. But the, the way we get these cards is you either take the first card for free or you use your inspiration tokens in order to put them down on any cards to take one of these other cards, which means the rest of the cards will slide down, and other players, when they take these cards, will get those inspiration tokens. So just a drop of economy in the game of trying to choose the, the specific cards that are right for you, the specific cards that will help you fulfill your goals. Now those goals, because what you can do in your turn is you either acquire a card, if you have f less than five cards in your hand, you can acquire a card. Once you have five cards, or earlier if you choose to, then you must build a painting, build a canvas using three cards plus your backdrop. And you're trying to do that, like I said, to fulfill those goals. Those goals specifically in this case are going to be space, style, proximity, and consistency. Space is going to reward us for having that colored rainbow symbol yeah. and a non-adjacent triangle. So, and it can give you more than one point per card. But for each colored rainbow and a non-adjacent triangle, you score points. Style is going to be if you have three of that particular symbol on the card. Proximity is going to give you for having these two symbols next to each other in either configuration. And then consistency is going to give you for having exactly six symbols, no less, no more. At the end of the game, you're going to score points for each of these. So, for instance, if I have, uh, you know, three tokens from the green section from style, I'll get 18 points. And additionally, there are a few bonus points, which will be given to us based on the card specifically. So, for example, over here, this game card over here gives us a bonus point per, uh, you know, one of these symbols over here. So, if you can get one of these symbols on this card, you can potentially get a lot of points for that. And with that, we're going to start off. Do you want to go first? Should sure. I? I just want to point out from here. Yes. It has to be, like, next to each other like this. It doesn't count when it's like this. Correct. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I should start? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. I will, I'm going to take this one. Here the one that's quick. very particularly awesome for this game? Yeah. Mm. Well, and that's free. it's free. And that's free. And then we're going to slot this out from the box. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Well, you, you can pay four tokens for it. No. Be my guest. So expensive. Be my... I'm going to deny you this one, which is obviously an excellent card for you now. Clearly. It's not even that I want it. In fact, I don't want it. I'm just going to hold this end of the game and not even use it. But... I mean, Did I say this is a lightweight game? This is cutthroat killer strategy, sweetie. Well then. I love you. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably leave my cards, you know, within view so you can see them. Or maybe even on these cards directly because you won't be able to see them on the table. So I'll just start storing them on my other cards. I'll take this one and take the... Mm, I hear you. I don't even know if that's going to go together yet, but... No one knows what it's like. Oops, took two cards. Take one. To be the bad guy. I'm going to take this one over here because it also gives you bonus points for that. Indeed. So, and these slide down, but now you have access to that one, which is... So either way, you're getting something good. Oh, fair no enough. one knows what it's like to be hated behind blue eyes and my dreams. By the way, I don't know the words to the song at all. It's been a long time. I was going to say, I don't even it's know what we're singing. Oh, I should play it for you. It's called Behind Blue Eyes. It's an old song. 
Old Gibraltar. That is yours. a funky card. This one I know, right? Yeah, yeah it's cool, I like right? It. Full framing and everything. Part of the fun of this game is the fact that you get distracted and like actually building things that are relatively pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at this card. It's Risky Childhood. That's hilarious. <laughs> Go ahead. It's my turn. Yes, isn't it? How many cards do you have? I have three. I have two. It's my turn, apparently. My yes. bad. Okay. I need to remember that I'm trying to do more than just one thing in this game. It's important yes. to remember that. I think I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and actually go for a one, two, and take this. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I like the potentials. Okay, that's fair. To you, sweetie. Oh, the uh, inspiration tokens left at the end of the game are a tiebreaker and a tiebreaker only, so don't get too caught up in them. They are good, they are not great. Use them wisely throughout the game to get the cards you need. No one knows what it's like. I'm going to take that one because I think it's awesome, even though it cost me all my inspiration tokens, because this is going to go over here. Although I still want to call it Risky Childhood, so I'm going to put it underneath. Okay. Underneath? Yep. Mm -hmm. I actually like this one here. Okay. Okay. Also, it gives you two inspiration tokens, which is nice. It does. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. Is it my turn? It is. Okay. Now, so it's worth noting, I've already created one of my canvases here, but I'm not actually cashing it in yet because you don't have to cash it in right away, and I can choose to cash it in for a time when I want her to take two cards in a row for whatever reason. But I will figure this out. I believe I will. I definitely want that one over. Mm, I don't really want that either. Hmm. 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 I don't know what I'm doing here. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't count. Unfortunately, I think I will take that first card. It's not what I have in mind ideally, but I okay, will take that's it. That's fine. Okay. Right, hold on. Give me two seconds. Just By all to, means. Because I have to paint a painting now. I'm just debating. Yeah, just no. Just pause our game. Paint a painting. I... It's all good. Nope, nope. It's all good. It's not like people are waiting. Yes, it's... yes. Well, you know. I go like this. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I'm going to do this one. Cool, cool. For sudden game. Yeah, you're doing that as your turn right now? You're cashing it in? Yeah, I have to. Okay, I have so five lock cards. In. Oh, interesting. So lock it in. Oh, interesting. You're right. These are three. Now I have five. I have to cash it in now. Yeah. Yeah. This turn I do, not last turn. No, this turn. Okay, so okay. let's go through it. Okay, so this is my sudden game. Okay, are you putting it in the sleeve or not bothering? No, why? Why? Because it's supposed to go in the sleeve. That's why this is. That. You don't have to. You can do what you want. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to do this. I have. I score one from here. I have a non adjacent hue and a triangle. Yes, you so do. I get one yes, you do. red token. I do not have three of those. Mm, sadly. I, well, whatever. Next time. I do not have that one. That was nope. really hard for me to actually okay. get. And then do I have exactly six? I have one, two, three, four. Nope. So I get this one, but I do get a bonus One bonus token. point. Okay. That's your, your turn. Yep, your turn. Tamaya, I'm going to go ahead and cash this one in. This one's going to be worth, so it's going to get the following. It ha does not have a, a space, the rainbow and a, nine and a triangle. It does have style, so I'm going to get one of those tokens. It does have proximity. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> bless you. It has okay. proximity twice. This one is going to be proximitous to this, and this one's going to be proximitous to this. A general rule of scoring is you can never count each symbol more than once. In other words, I couldn't count proximity twice because this is next to this and this is next to this. Each symbol can only be counted once, so but I'm still able to get two with that. And the consistency, I sadly do not have because I do not believe the bonus symbol is counted, 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 which means I only have five of those. That's but nice. I do get three bonus tokens. Nice. Okay. That's a good card. And that's going to be my scoring for this canvas over here. Okay. Okay. My turn. I'm going to have to pay some heavy uh -huh, duty uh -huh. thing here. Hmm. I like this attraction card. I like this attraction card. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this one because I'm pretty sure I can make it work for me. Okay. I don't know exactly how yet, but it feels like I can make it work for me. Excellent. What mm. I like very nice. But, um, it's a nice song, I told you. I don't even know what you're singing, actually. You hit no one card. knows what it's like to be the bad guy. No, that's fine. To be the sad guy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Which one? I'm just, I'm finding this particular configuration of things today interesting. I hear you. It's not necessarily what I would have thought to go for, but it might be what I end up going for. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, that one's pretty. I like that one. So, which one? Divine? Yeah. Right, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and take... Ooh, I could take that one too. That one's not better for me, nor is that one better for me. So I think I will go ahead and take this one. No, I have to take this one. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put down Inspiration Token okay. on those. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this one, which I think is going to pair up nicely with this. It's going to I give me a few will. more bonus tokens. Are you painting? Um, yeah, do I want Delicate no, Warning? Turn. I want Innocent Warning. I'm going to go ahead and paint. Well, yeah, I have one more turn. I can still take a card. Yes. But in any case, your turn in the meantime. Indeed. Hold on. Try to decide. We have Anxiety. Do you want to be anxious, sweetie? Not particularly. It's not hmm. something that I particularly like feeling. I like my new card because now I have an innocent warning combined with a risky childhood, which is a very <laughs> nice combination of things. That's the funny. question is what my last card ends up being because if I can go ahead. And there are, I'm pretty sure there are some like easels you can get for this game that will display your canvases as you have them, which in fact is worth noting because I think I said this already in, t in terms of current you and not future you. This game currently is on Kickstarter. Uh, with the expansion, Canvas Reflections. So I haven't tried Canvas Reflections, but it adds some new things, like reversible cards. It adds, uh, shifts up the game way. In fact, there's two different rows of cards okay. you can take from. So it's, it shifts up what you can do in different ways you can do it. But yeah, basically that's going to be that. Okay. I still need to figure out what I want. You have like most of the inspiration tokens, sweetie. Mm. I don't appreciate this. This theft of my, of my knowledge. Theft of my knowledge. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the liberated because that actually works for me okay okay it's my turn already indeed I, uh, my turn already because i went quickly does that work as an answer now my next one i'm gonna have to cash in for a thing so i'm gonna go ahead and start slotting this but it is your turn sweetie okay well it's gonna take another second because i'm trying to figure out which cards go where no one knows what it's like okay so here is this one which is very it's heavy beauty okay okay so this is where it gets interesting it's not adjacent here and here, and it's not adjacent here and that there. That works. 100 They give so us an example. Here's two red here. You have to. You can pick each one. So this has to be adjacent to an, another one, and then yeah, it works that and way. And then technically speaking, no, this is adjacent here and here. No, this you only have two. Here. It's two. Yeah, you only have two for it's that. It's only sense. two. Yeah, that's only two. I do not have three of this one. You so do, I do not, not have six symbols either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's seven. Oh, seven exactly is not six. exactly six. Blah, 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 blah. That's annoying. Oh, well. well, it depends. Do you even need all those, though? Are they, is there any way to reconfigure? Nope. nope. You cannot nope. reconfigure it. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, that's what it is, then. Indeed. Your turn. Okay. Well, I have to go ahead and slot my painting, and I'm going to go ahead and do so. Oh, I like that's pretty. Mm, they're lots pretty. I'm going to go ahead and cash this painting in, and I'm going to get the following. So, this one is going to give me one non-adjacent thing, so I get okay. a pink. Nice. It's going to not give me three of these. It's going to not give me this. It's going to not give me this. But it is going to give me three bonus tokens for having three rainbows on it. Nice. So, again, I'm going for the bonus token strategy this time yeah, as like opposed to anything else. Good. That's a lot of yellow-purple right now. Yeah, and to you. Yeah, the game is going to keep going until, basically, as soon as one player ca cashes out, the other person can keep going, which means Correct. you can start playing a game of trying to get as many cards as possible into your hand until you get those Only perfect get last three. But, yeah, you, you have max five in your hand before you have to start making decisions. So, it is what it is. I think I'm actually going to take this one. Because right now I have Exploring Anxiety. Mm. Do you explore anxiety? Depends on the day. Okay. You can slap those things down. No, oh, yes, that seems reasonable. I'm going to go ahead, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to take. And none of these options particularly appeal to me. Um, I may end up taking the first card just so that I can have... What's it call? Those next to those are tricky. I hear you. This is not... This is not... Uh, not working for you? Not working the way the last one did. Not in I quite the same way. A lot way. of mine were working also this time. Hmm. Oh, I like the deep one. That's pretty. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this first one because I'm just going to give me some inspiration tokens and I'll have to make some hard choices after. To you, sweetie. Okay. See, I'm motivated to get some more proximities because if I can get two more proximities, then I can bump that up to 12 points, which is not okay. bad. That's not bad. Okay. The problem with style, I only have one. Space, right. I only have one, and consistency, I have zero. So it's not really a lot of point focusing on those at this point. Better to be a master of your craft than a jack of all trades. That is what they generally say, yes. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go ahead and figure this out while you go. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting I don't think I can actually get all the colors in what I'm doing. Your turn. I could double down on one more green. There's no way I can get two more greens, but one more green is not bad even. 
It may even be worth doing just that, just to get that and that. But then, can I do anything better? That's a good question. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead, I don't know if this is going to be good for me, but I'm going to go ahead and take this one, because I'm going to start playing with it while it's your turn, because I think it could be decent for me. Okay. I'm just playing around with this one real quick. So sure. Give me one second. Just give me a second. Just a little bit's enough. Dun 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 Oh I do like the card. I like the name of this card. There we go. Okay, you done? Yeah. Excellent. This is called Deep Anxiety. Are you scoring it right now? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and score mine as well. And so I'm gonna be scoring extreme mess. Hmm? Extreme mess, I'm sorry. Nice. Okay. Definitely and looks like extreme Go ahead mess. and score yours. Okay, so I get one of these. You get two of the... Two, 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 two more reds. Which unfortunately caps you out. You don't even need them. Yes, it's funny. That's unfortunate. Yes, it is. Okay. And then I have... Two one green. And then one green. Yep, you have three of these, right? Yes, I do. So I that's one green. By accident. Okay. One green, and then... That is one... I think that's it. No, I don't have exactly six or eight on here. I could not get them lower. Okay. Uh, for mine, I'm going to go ahead and score. I will score one of the, the reds. I will score for the green as well, because I have three of those. I will score one bonus token, and then I believe that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. I will also score on one purple. You want very heavy on those. Yes. But the bonus tokens? Yeah. Yeah, I loaded up on bonus tokens this time. Okay. So, that is going to be the game. At this yeah. point, we now go ahead and score. You so. Win. I, I assume I win. Yes. But uh, for yourself, I you have, have 11 points. points plus 4 is 15 plus 2 is 17 points. So I uh, for myself, I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 14 points in bonus tokens. There you go. And then I have uh, two blues, two points, 5 in this. Five. So that's uh, 14 plus 5 is 19. 19 plus 2 of this is 29. 29 plus 3 is 32. And 32 plus 4 is 36. And that is going to be Candice. Indeed. Yes. Cool. So, this is the review part of the video. Indeed. Yes. So, starting off, off the bat, what do you like about this game? So pretty. Mm, is it? Yes. I want to point out that I have Extreme Mess, Innocent, let me just clear these off. I have Extreme Mess, Innocent Warning, and Risky Childhood. Those are the canvases I painted. I have Sudden Game, Heavy Beauty, and Deep Anxiety. Mm, we should have a Sudden Game. Yes. <laughs> heavy Beauty. What is Heavy Beauty? I want to see what that art is. That's Heavy Beauty. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's an anchor. Yeah, I do like the addition of the names. The names yes, really add a certain really whimsical the charm. In fact, I just said whimsical charm, and notice this one's whimsical. That's funny. This one's yeah. corrupted. Ooh, that would have been a fun one. Oh, see, this would have been fun to stick together. Corrupted freedom. Corrupted freedom. freedom. That is, this is not bad. And then we have a whimsical perspective if we slot these together with a little weird, you know, eyeball looking at the butterflies. Yeah, the theme, the charm, all those things. It's really, really, really fun. I enjoy it. I like, I like the art. Yeah. I like the variability that these cards give. It was a mm -hmm. very different game this time than when we played it Very before. much so, yeah. I mean, especially those bonus tokens. Last game we had, like, did one bonus, bonus token, token the whole game. Yeah, this one I got... I did not go happy on the bonus token. I'm still, like, figuring out exactly how these Interplay. work. Yeah, I and just have fun making the pretty paintings. a decent amount of these, too. This is just the base yeah. game, but we have, like, all these different cards, and any combination of four of these are going to shift up the, the challenge of what you're going for, plus, of course, what actually comes out as well. What's also interesting is that in this game, we both went for all five colors, even though you actually don't need it. Yes. Well, because, I mean, I think it's biased because more colors gives you more stuff. Yeah, like, but I'm curious if I would have taken out, like, let's say... Like, this base card, Composition, is going to be one of the cards they suggest you start with. Composition is going to reward you just for having all five colors. Nothing right. to do with anything else, but just not having well, blank spots. that's they say to start this here. And there's how I was, like, thinking, like, oh, I should have taken one out. But I'm like, no, because I would have left you with two, and you have to pick three. Mm. Yeah, here. You can layer it however you want. Yes, you can. It's just so much fun because there's just so much variability. Because even though if we had one of the, I think we had one of these paintings the last time. We had the game one the last time. Mm -hmm. But it's just so different because it all depends oh, on Oh, I what definitely comes had out. this meatball on the fork last time. You Some did? things stick out at you. A meatball on a fork from the top corner of a painting. That's memorable. I really like this one. The innocent warning. Innocent warning. It's really yep. funny. It's walking along the top here. Little lightning, little light thing. It really looks eating. like a real painting. Yeah. So that's going to be so fine. So what, what, anything else you liked? Um. The ease. Ease, okay. The ease of the game. It's very accessible. It's very easy. Quick to learn, quick to play. Yeah. 
It's not like you're sitting down for two hours to play a game. Yeah, this is like a 20-minute experience, basically. Less Indeed. than that. 15 minutes if you're just rushing through things. Uh, yeah. Obviously more with added players, of course. But yeah, I agree with you. The The game is whimsical, which I've already said. The game Indeed. is it's, it's a basically a puzzle spatial game. It's all it is. It has a slight game mechanic aspect of managing your inspiration as you put out those tokens and then collect those tokens. But the tokens have no inherent value. Correct. They're just there to, to make you choose between when you'll take the thing that's right in front of you and when you'll try to take the thing that just came out because it might be perfect for your painting, for Correct. your canvas. And past that, it's, it's just trying to collect cards to combine them to meet as many different scoring configurations as possible as you figure out how to slot them together how to overlay and that's basically it uh, as far as what i like about it it's i mean everything i just said the the art the presentation the production all those things the the box the sacrifice of the name and the marketing so that you can put this on your wall i mean all those things are are nice it really they really dove down heavy into what this game is about in terms of in terms of that aspect of well the, the, the game the the game is simple it's easy it is it gives you enough of a puzzle that it's interesting but it's also not like particularly heavy this is not something you're pulling no, out at game night or i mean depends on your, what your game night is but it's something that you pull out when you just want a quick light filler game that does a decent job as far as what you don't like about this game um it's a great question it was annoying getting the box open. It's annoying getting the box open. <laughs> they they do they they have a slotted box so like you're pulling things out as opposed to a traditional game box. So it, it I mean it's annoying relatively speaking. Sure. Um, I've always laid transparent cards, but sometimes when you put it down, you can kind of get a little bit lost depending what you're playing on. Yeah, I would like to see in terms of the. I mean, I don't know if there's a good solution for this, but I feel they did a great job of giving you these presentation. But just the nature of having like three sleeves together means your art gets very quickly muted as soon as you start you slide three sleeves on top. So the the graphic of what you're building does get a little muted as you go. It would be nice to not have that happen. I don't know if that's achievable. Just the nature of production and all that. Uh, past that, gameplay wise, I, I don't know if there's anything I don't like about the game. It's definitely going to fall in the category of being a... I mean, that's more what others... What I can see others not liking, so I'll save it for that. But it's not, it's not, there's, nothing, there's nothing really that I don't like about the game. But it is on the lighter side, meaning it's the highs only go so high, but there are no lows. It's a solid yeah. game for what it's the trying to book achieve. It was very short. It was yeah, very, very, short. E very easy to pick up. Yeah. I also really like that this is the, a cotton. Yeah. It doesn't bother me, the fabric. The fabric? Oh, yeah, because you don't like the... Uh, I, don't, I don't like the traditional... Traditional uh, game mats have a different feel to it that Rina does not like. It doesn't, don't know. So I really appreciate this fabric. Yeah, I, I wish it. that they... I'm, I'm trying to figure out... I think that they have different lengths to this text. No, it's the same yeah. length. But why does it feel like they're always overlaid? This is just the nature of stretching cards. Oh, interesting. It's because the background is overlaid. The yeah. very final thing. Okay, cool. Got it. But yeah, uh, as far as what you can see, I was not liking anything there. Um, not really. So for myself, I have two things, really. Uh, the first we've touched upon already is this very much is a lighter game. If that's not your fare, if you're not interested in looking for something that is going to be... I mean, it's, it's simple. It's good at what it does. Don't get me wrong. It's great in terms of being a gateway game. And it's also great in terms of being a light, you know, even for myself who plays a lot of heavy games, just having something light and easy to play is awesome. But... At the same time, if you are not interested in a lighter style gameplay, this is not for you. Uh, secondly is going to be the fact that this there, it, it can be a bit brain burnery as you try to figure out and min-max your way through the optimal combination of cards. You're like, well, this card's great, that card's great. Yes. You have a general sense of all the things that are good for you, but you're ultimately trying to achieve four different objectives plus bonus tokens. And so you're trying to figure out, well, if I slot these cards together with this, and if I overlay it like this, and if I do it like that, you could get stuck in this pattern of just trying to find that perfect combination which can be either frustrating for yourself personally or perhaps others with you if you're just uh, AP prone and others are sitting around waiting for that to, to close. But that's basically going to be it. And that Maybe. is as a scoring. Rated final thoughts and score. A three. A three? I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I would happily play it, take it out and pull it out. Um, if you put it out, I would happily play it. Um, I just don't know how long it's going to last. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Uh, for myself, I'd rate it a three as well. Uh, not necessarily for the same reasons you do. Mm -hmm. I actually really like it. I think it's a solid little pu like composition puzzle of what's going on here. At the same time, like I said, it is very much on the lighter side. And just for my own personal taste, uh, the, when I think of the games that I absolutely love, the ones that are fours and fives, they tend to be, be a bit meatier. There are exceptions. But for me, for myself, Canvas is a solid three. 
great game, easy recommendation, currently on Kickstarter, uh, definitely maybe on Kickstarter, <laughs> or past tense on Kickstarter. Hello from the past, things are dark here. Help <laughs> us, please, you're our only hope. But yeah, that's going to be Canvas. Canvas uh, from, I don't even know the name of the company, Canvas from Road to Infamy Games, Road to Infamy, R2I Games, and that's basically it. Until next time, I am Alex. I'm Rena. And have a good one.